Yes, there is an onk on my face, on my face. So I was playing around with the camera right now, trying to get it to just stay in position and just can't get this onk like out of the picture. So it's just going to kind of hang out with us and it's a pretty sacred symbol. So I guess it's appropriate. So I, I titled this video Eclipse Sandwich because we had a new moon eclipse last week and then we were having a full moon eclipse coming up. So right now we're in between the two eclipses and this is a super auspicious time. There's a lot of shifting going on. There's a lot of planetary alignments. There are a lot of retrogrades. Da 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 da. Whatever that means to you. Maybe it means nothing. Whatever. The point is we're in potent times right now. I hear everyone talking about it. I see everyone going through it. I know we're all feeling it. So I just wanted to come on and just kind of have a free flow talk. Just have a couple of things in mind that I wanted to talk about and bring up and see what your thoughts are. I did do the first quarter activation last night. So if you didn't catch that, it's on my YouTube channel. Just search Rebecca Magic. Um, that was awesome. Super awesome as always. So much fun and so auspicious. So magical. Thank you for everybody who tuned in. Um, so right now I just wanted to talk about kind of the themes of what's going on. Um, the full moon coming up is very much going to be a powerhouse. This full moon eclipse is going to be an initiation. The card that was pulled for the full moon last night was the Ace of Wands, and aces are initiations, and the aces contain the full power of the element that is pulled, and in this case it was wands. So it's fire. It's a, it's a spiritual initiation. Key words are passion, spontaneity, sparks, fire, excitement. This is what we should expect for the full moon eclipse coming up. So we're really building up that fire right now. We're really calling in and creating, weaving a web of, of support for this opportunity that's on its way. And the more conscious and present we are right now with that process and with creating that opportunity, the bigger and greater it will be. Because anything that we put our attention on grows. So now that we're aware, now that we've pinpointed this upcoming opportunity, we can consciously invite it. We can ask for it. And when we consciously do it, as opposed to, you know, in an unaware, unaware way, calling it in inevitably, individually and collectively, when we do it consciously, it's very different. When we consciously and intentionally call things in, we get over and ahead of the wave. We get on top of the wave. We don't get dragged by it. We don't get pulled under. We are on top of it. So we know what influ influences are around us right now. We know what is influencing even the insides of us. We know what's influencing our minds, our emotions, our bodies. And when we know, then we are empowered because we can work with what we know. And we can, like the magician in the tarot deck, which we all have those archetypal qualities within us, like the true magician, we can use that knowledge as power we can use that knowledge as reference points to get in and take the reins on our path. And again, then we're on top of the wave and not below it, not being pulled under it. So now that we know we have this initiation, this ace of wands coming up, for those of you who are tuning in, that is an onk on my face because of the onk in the line of the sun there. In case you're wondering, I'm just kind of rolling with it. Um... So now that we know we have this Ace of Wands coming up for the full moon eclipse, it's like, okay, am I going to allow that to be a shock and a surprise in a in more of a negative way? Am I going to be nervous and scared and resist it? Or am I going to expect it and open up to it and maybe tailor fit it to my reality? I'm going to say, okay, well, I know this energy is approaching, so I'm going to make it work for me. You know, I've really been wanting to go on this trip or I've been wanting to do this project or I've been wanting to call in a new opportunity. Now is my chance. And then with conscious awareness, with intentional awareness, we can fine tune the manifestation of this opportunity that's inevitably on its way to one and all. That's something I really wanted to talk about for those who didn't tune into the video last night. Again, you can go to youtube.com slash Rebecca Magic and you can watch the first quarter activation that we did together last night and it will go into further detail about everything that I've just said. Especially for those of you who are super curious about this auspicious time in between eclipses. That video is totally for you. 
And another thing I really wanted to talk about in this video was a theme that has been coming up that I see in my own life and I see in the life of those coming to readings, uh, coming to me for readings, and just my friends and my family, is staying alert. Staying alert and aware in prayer. Aware in prayer. What do I mean by that? It's like we always keep ourselves busy with worries and doubts and fears. But there's so much stimulation around for us to sink into and just enjoy. Sensory pleasure and stimulation. Be beautiful things. So much beauty for our eyes to see, whether it's man-made or nature. It's all com coming from the same source. So there's plenty of stimulation. So much beauty for us to see. So much for us to smell, to taste, to touch. That alone should keep us busy. But when we add our conscious awareness into this sensory experience, there's also an active prayer that an active state of prayer that we can always be in. And that can keep us eternally busy. In fact, that's why we're here. To have those moments of receiving the pleasure, hopefully for the one. Because then the pleasure is magnified and sustained eternally. But also there are moments of active prayer, activity. Active and receptive. And what does the active side look like when we're not just relaxing and sinking in? It doesn't have to be worry and stress and doubt and fear. We're creators. We very much are creative beings. We have a creative element in the reflection of our own creator source. And we've got to remember this creativity because it's our greatest power to pull us out of any hole. And I feel this message so strongly from the reading that I did last night, the activation that we did together. But also, like I said, I'm seeing this theme coming up in life from every angle, in symbols, in words, everywhere around me in nature. So I really, really want to dive deep into this, staying aware and in prayer. Rather than sinking into the worries, we can allow that creative element, which is fire. It's that wands. It's that ace of wands that's on its way, on its way you guys. And the more we ace this lesson, the greater the ace of wands initiation will be when that full moon comes, when that full moon eclipse arrives. And it's coming so soon. We don't even have to wait very long. How exciting is that? It's coming. It's, it's almost here. And so staying aware and in prayer, anytime we feel like we're being pulled down in doubt or fear or worry or anxiety, we can remember that, oh, I'm, I'm creating right now. I'm creating right now. So even though I, I don't feel like I can fully relax right now and just be, then the best that I can do is alchemize my thoughts into something positive. If I must stay active, then make it positive, positive and prayerful. Every moment there's an opportunity to give thanks or pray. Give thanks or pray every single moment. And when I feel a little frustrated and I feel like, oh, I can't think of anything, I go straight, I default to healthful prayers. I think and envision myself, I think of my health. I envision myself healthy. I pray and give thanks for my health, my family's health, my friend's health, the health of the world. And there are many people. I can go on and on all day and night just praying for health, giving thanks for health and envisioning everybody healthy and happy and prosperous and abundant. And then if anybody gets sick, whether it's you or someone you love, you are so confident that you or your loved one will heal because you have a reserve of prayers. You've got so many prayers because that's just all you do and it feels good. And really what happens in that moment is your confidence leads to the strength of mind, strength of will that actually does the work and envisions your healing right then and there. So that power of prayer is saved like a battery for you to use whenever you really need it most. Not that you're expecting it or waiting for that day, but when it comes, you're not worried. So that's one way to do that. Another way is if we're worrying, we remember that worry is a prayer for those things we don't want. Worrying manifests those very worries. And so anytime we have a worry, we can use those as a trigger or red flag to then have that inner self dialogue, call in that other side of yourself to turn and face that self that's having those worries and say, tell me your worry. What is it? Hear it, hear it, and then say to that worry, okay, well now instead of this, we're going to, we're going to neutralize that. We're going to say the opposite. So for example, if 
you know, I was helping someone earlier today with um, poor eating habits. So it's like, oh, I'm worrying that I'm going to go down that hole again and I'm going to make poor choices. Well, then that other side of you, you can call it in and have that dialogue and say, I'm actually going to make this choice. And it's as simple as that. And every time the one side of yourself has the worry or the negative thought, just keep repeating. It's like a child. A child doesn't understand, sometimes for many times, and you have to keep repeating and trusting that the child is going to get it eventually. And that one day it's going to click and all those times you said it are going to count for that moment of transformation. And that's what you have to do inside. You have to have that dialogue with your multiple selves, knowing that they're all unified. Have compassion for all sides, but have that dialogue, have that counsel where they meet and make the best decisions in agreement of what is for the highest good of the one that is you in alignment with the greater one where we are all connected. And so you keep repeating, no, um, thank you for saying that, but this is what I'm going to do. Thank you for sharing your fear, but this is what we're going to do. And you solidify that. It's like a mantra that you keep repeating and repeating. Again, our creative element is our power. It's one of our greatest powers. The elements are our greatest powers. And when we're using that creativity, we're using our spiritual fire, our wand, in, in tarot terms. We're using our wand to make a change, to heal, to inspire, to uplift, to transform, to alchemize, because fire is the necessary element for alchemy. And so anytime we feel stuck, remember your creative element. You are creating. It helps you to immediately take accountability and to immediately be inspired and to immediately alchemize your thoughts and therefore your reality. Transformation happens like this when you know you have fire in you and you use that element knowing you're one with it. So that's a really important theme, I feel, for this week. Uh, for myself, I see it for everyone around me. Maybe you relate to this too. Feel free to drop a comment. I'd love to hear about that. I'm going to read all of the comments when I'm done here. Remember, creativity, fire, your will. There's always, in every single moment, something to either create or be grateful for. So, if you can't find yourself in a position to be able to relax or meditate yet, fine. Active meditation, aware and in prayer, stay aware and in prayer. That is active meditation. In every moment, there's something to give thanks for. In every moment, there's something to pray for. We're always creating the next moment. What we see around us is a result of a past thought. This that we see with our human eyes is a manifestation of the past. It's not even real anymore. So we can just close our eyes and immediately project the future, begin to build the future, conceive of the future to then birth it. So in any moment, in any moment lies the opportunity to create the next. There is no excuse. There is no excuse. Our creativity is our fire, is our power, is our inspiration and our alchemy to shift our reality into anything we want it to be. So do that. Claim your creativity and use it as a guide. And remember the Ace of Wands, which is the card that was pulled for the future, which is the full moon, on its way, coming up very soon. Less than a week, full moon eclipse. We're still riding out the energy of the new moon eclipse. Think of that Ace of Wands. It's a wand on fire. It's being offered to you seemingly out of thin air, but really it's inside of you. And you have that wand at your disposal in each and every moment for eternity. So how will you, in the biggest way, bigger than ever before, remember your creativity, claim it, use it, lean on it, lean into it, call it forth. And remember that in every moment lies the opportunity to create the next. How creative can you be? How far in the future, how far into the future can you project yourself? How far can you dream Time and space is an illusion, and in the mind's eye, we know this. So how far can you travel? That's my question for you this week. Keep it going. Keep it going. Meditate when you can. Take a breather when you can. Relax, receive, enjoy. Sensory pleasure of this earthly reality, this physical plane. But any moment you find yourself not enjoying, and you find yourself 
in stress, especially in the mind. That's where it all starts. You find yourself doubting. You find yourself in fear. You find yourself anxious. Create, 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 create. This moment is already gone. Think of the next moment. How do you want to feel? Think of that. How do you want to feel? Think of that. How do you want to feel? Think of that. Think of somebody you love. What do you want for them? Think of that. What's your favorite childhood memory? Think of that. What's a place you've always wanted to visit? Picture yourself there and sink into that for an hour or two. There's so much to think about. Think. We have these thinking minds. We're so in the mind. So let it be your friend. Because it is. Deep inside there, there's a heart. There's a heart in each of our chakras, each of our wheels, each of our centers. The mind has a heart. It's your third eye. Go in there. Let your mind be your friend and let it work for your heart. If we're always going to be thinking anyway, let's be creative. Let's be proactive. Let's think in a way that's for the highest good of the one. Creativity. Key. <laughs> for those of you who just tuned in, this onk is like right in the line of the sun. And so I kept trying to play with it so that it wouldn't be on my face. Um, but it was kind of impossible because I'm sitting at this awkward table here. Um, so yeah, it was kind of fun to have that little effect there. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and like feeling your presence is, uh, makes such a difference in videos. There were a couple times where I made videos without going live. Um, it's not the same. I feel you. All of our channels open and we connect and something entirely new is born. With each person that tunes in, a new channel is connected and more information comes through in a synergistic way too. The information, every time someone connects, the information is refined because source is all intelligent and feels and knows and does all, does all of it, makes it all happen when we come together. And so every time a new piece is added to the puzzle, Source is continuously sweeping its light through and making sure that whatever information is coming through is for the highest, the absolute highest it could be for all of us as one. And every time someone watches this video later on my YouTube channel or on my Facebook wall, in that moment, it's perfect for them. And in that moment, Source has already prepared it in such a way that it is tailored to them, through them, for the highest good of the one. Super powerful, you guys. It's not just some Facebook Live video. This is real magic that we're doing. So thank you for embodying and actualizing the magician of the royal path with me. Appreciate it. <laughs> Happy eclipses to you. Happy eclipse sandwich. Happy potent times to you. I look forward to seeing you guys for the full moon eclipse because I'm going to be in Maui for that. And you know I'm going to bring my cards with me and I'll be doing it on the beach somewhere. And then for the fourth and final activation of the month, the third quarter moon activation, I'll be in Kauai. So keep an eye out on the videos. If you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Rebecca Magic, subscribe. You'll get a little notification that will make sure you stay tuned and catch those super sacred readings that are gonna be on the beach in Hawaii. Hey. All right, guys, much love. Enjoy your week and feel free to drop a comment. Let me know what's happening in your life. Let me know if this resonated with you. I love you. Aloha.